All right, so we just had a long talk with Tomeo, and the dream has begun. <laughs> Huge. It's like a whole village in there. But the, the kids are like all excited. Kobe's still down there talking to Tomeo, and God damn it, <laughs> it looks like this is going to be a reality for us. Um, you know, we just told you, I told you, I told you, I told you, we just talk about something and it's dangerous because then we go, yeah, we want it and then we make it happen. So Kobe and Tomeo are still down there talking. I had to get off the boat. I was feeling a little seasick. Um, so we'll figure out how to make that happen. But the kids are like, that's it. Let's go to Israel for a year and then let's go on a boat for a year. So it might be, it might be good. <laughs> Tomel was saying the courses are about three months. There's the basic, um, then the skipper, and then advanced. Um, so maybe three months. Uh, maybe we'd live in Italy and take those classes and then buy a boat. Um, he says the cheapest would be in Croatia um, of all the countries. And then we can hit the, the road. There's also a, a group. The last year there were 80 people, 80 boats that went out for this, this really great tour. It starts from Istanbul, Turkey. Um, all the way to Israel um, and back and it's five months and we're like yeah we'd love that so god <laughs> that might be the vision like can we you know go home be there for at least a year give our kids more contact with their roots um, be, be with grandma and grandpa and cousins have a little bit of Hebrew education put into them um, and then if it worked out we would go to uh, Goa. We'd be there for six months. Uh, no, we'd spend a month and a half in northern India and then four and a half months in, in a school in Goa. Um, then, I don't know, I still, we still need more Israel time because then the idea is either go back to Israel or um, the idea was to go to Spain and live in Spain for two or three years and bi do biking trips around Europe. And now they're like, no, let's get a boat and do boating and sailing. So I don't know. And it is really dangerous because Kobe is still, put it down, please. It's not ours. Kobe is still in there talking to Tomail, which is definitely a problem. <laughs> that means it's gonna happen but you know he doesn't realize how much work this is like first of all I gotta get over uh, my irra irrational fear of sharks you know we all are scuba divers and so Lai's 10th birthday is coming up <clears throat> um, and next year she can become a patty uh, scuba diver also um, so we can all scuba dive and we all love the ocean and, and love love scuba diving um, but <clears throat> I don't want to be in the ocean at night still scared of sharks like what if so kobe's sick or loses consciousness and i gotta be in control of the boat like fuck that <laughs> i'm not doing that like you know i'm fine being his you know second hand you know scrubbing the boat cleaning it which is a lot of work that's fine i can do that but first of all the kids and i would we, i mean the kids i mean i could do this alone with kobe but with the three children in a small compartment like that you can't even kick them out i can't be like jump off the side of the boat that's it you know you got to stay on the boat with him um so I don't know, like it's exciting. It's, it's all very romantic, but the reality of life is different than the unicorns and butterflies and rainbows that you think it is. And like being on a small boat like that would be challenging. Um, and for Kobe and I, it'd be fine. Kobe and I could live on a boat. You know, I told Kobe, I'll follow you anywhere. Kobe and I could do it, but to be with the kids, I don't know. Um, and and the, the thought that I have to be responsible so that if the boat is about to crash into something, oh, limping cat, uh, sorry. If the boat were to crash into something or there's a long leg of the journey and I have to be in charge, you know, what if there's a storm? <coughs> like, I don't know how to handle that stuff. <laughs> I guess I would rise to the occasion. All right, so the next stream is becoming a reality. No, okay, it's really dangerous. Kobe's down there and that's really dangerous. Really super, super dangerous. Oh God. All right, so I don't know. I know we're going to Israel for a year. We'll see if Goa still fits into our lives. Um, like we plan to go back to the school in Goa for at least four and a half months. Um, I want that still, because that's really good for us for yoga and cleansing and all the stuff that we like to do, real Shanti lifestyle. Um, we still want to do living in Europe and biking around Europe, but we could do that on a sailboat, actually. You just don't have a house. You live on the boat. Um, I guess we could live on a boat and then they could be in Spain. We could be in Spain for like six months. They can go to school or a year. And then we can sail around Europe. And then we can join this Istanbul Israel thing. 
Insanity. Okay, I'm gonna stop freaking out, but Kobe's not getting out of the boat, which means he has a lot to talk to Tomer about, which means it's becoming the next reality. Oh boy, here he is. So, have you made plans? Yeah, possible, possible. Yeah, possible, possible. Yeah, 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 poss